What do you think is the untold story of Ghana? How Ghana started the whole liberation of African freedom. Mm -hmm. The way black Americans are moving to Ghana specifically. How, are they, how is it affecting or impacting the local Ghanaian? The whole idea of the year of return is remembering six, uh, 400 years of the time slavery. Um, slavery. Ghana is one of the slavery. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kemto Bear. In today's video, I have a guest. I'm shy. I'm a shy guy. Anyway, my name is Fred. Fred Dye from Ghana. I'm a storyteller, a YouTuber, and cinematographer. And I love my stay here in Kenya so far. Yeah. yeah. So why did you come to Kenya? <laughs> um, I came to gain my citizenship. I feel like Kenya is so beautiful that you guys, you don't like your own country and I love it more than the Kenyans themselves right now. No, it's because it's far. Your country is so oh, far really? from here. Ah, well. <laughs> but I, I'm a Kenyan to create beautiful stories of Africa, of mm -hmm. Kenyans, mm -hmm. and show to the world the amazing things that Kenyans are doing mm -hmm. that needs to be seen by Kenyans in Kenya and beyond Kenya and the rest of Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Myself. Why did you start YouTube? <laughs> um, I started YouTube to tell stories actually. I used to work for other companies in the media space mm -hmm. and what was happening was um, they went, you know when you work for a company you don't have that privilege to yeah. be flexible. Mm -hmm. So what I noticed was um, yes I was creating stories alright mm -hmm. but they are not story I could own up to and say yes I'm proud that this is an African story. So at a point in my life I just like okay let me start YouTube or let me look for a platform then that I can be flexible to create mm -hmm. and share beautiful stories like this. Mm -hmm. And so I went into YouTube for the sake of creating to connect the world with uh, my people. Do you know about the year of return? Everyone is in Ghana, everyone is coming to Ghana. Oh. What's making people come to Ghana instead of Kenya? Um, I, I feel like everyone is coming back to Africa. Yeah. Not just Ghana alone. Ghana seems yeah. to be on the world map right now. Everyone is attracted to Ghana because of some mm -hmm. publicity. Mm -hmm. um, but the whole idea of the Year of Return is remembering six, uh, 400 years of the time slavery, um, slavery started. started and people were transported from Accra to like other part of Ghana or other part of Africa mm -hmm. to the diaspora. Wow. And the people in the diaspora strongly connect to Ghana as a place that they migrated from or they were took, taken from to the diaspora. So when it's um, 400 years of slavery mm -hmm. um, period was, I don't know how should I even put it, <laughs> like when they were celebrating it, yeah. they decided to pick Ghana. Like something like a foreigner doesn't know about Ghana. The untold story of Ghana is that Ghanaian men are handsome and Ghanaian women are very beautiful and we have a lot of good food yes that's good food and we have the best jollof in the world that the world doesn't agree with um, they feel like the best jollof but they say jollof is from Senegal it's from Senegal but we have capitalized on it and polished it to be the best mm -hmm. so Yes, but to answer your question, um, the untold story about Ghana is uh, there are a lot. Mm -hmm. We have we, we are from a background of amazing culture. Uh, we have powerful history. I, I believe that you've heard of um, Kwame Nkrumah, mm -hmm. those freedom fighters. How Ghana started the whole liberation of African freedom mm -hmm. to the point of the great Ashanti Empire mm -hmm. so these stories are not told to the world and there are things that the world needs to hear about but people are not telling them effectively mm -hmm. so I feel like there are a lot of them there are a lot of untold stories of Ghana yeah so how do Ga local Ghanaians take the immigration or not the immigration correct uh, the year of return like the the way people are how can they, uh, you know, I want to use the good term? Uh, the way black Americans are moving to Ghana specifically. How, they, how is it affecting or impacting the local Ghanaian? So the year of return 
I mean, it was a, for a period which was just 2019, mm-hmm. but it was not an event to be a one-time thing. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be a period in our life where we connect with our brothers and sisters in the diaspora and encourage them to come home, that Africa is home and Africa is where they belong. And so they should feel free to be in Africa. So it, it has two impacts. It has a negative side and it has a positive side. Mm-hmm. But like, I would love to capitalize on the positive, positive. side. Mm-hmm. It has created one, a great bond between our brothers and sisters in the diaspora right now and to we Ghanaians and all Africans because once you get to Ghana you feel like you are saving Ghana you feel you feel oh if I come to Kenya I'm gonna be 100% safe as well so it has bridged that gap between African American and Africans in Africa and now we can coexist together secondly these people who came or our brothers and sisters who came from the diaspora came with a lot of opportunities because they had skill there they had training they had some good financial resources there so when they came they established business so a lot of people are employed through their return and also they they come with a lot of communities communities of um, oh let's do this for our relatives here or let's do this for this community let's give them school they, they, they did a lot of giving back so positively it has impacted us um, a little bit of side challenge which I feel could be improved is the fact that things have become really expensive because a cost like something that would be like 50 cent mm-hmm. that we pay 50 cent for they come and feel like 50 cent is nothing so they ask how much is this because of them they increase it to like a dollar or two or three dollars and they don't mind paying three dollars because three dollars to them is nothing but to the locals it's a lot because they don't end that much so, so sometimes it's even an, three, three, three dollars is like an earning for a lot uh-huh, exactly for eight hour work shift exactly yeah. so it has just made cost of living very high for some local Ghanaians and it is impacting us to a certain extent um, negatively but I feel like that could be worked on yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. so we've talked about high things high inflation yeah is uh cooking oil expensive like here is that sorry cooking oil expensive uh, what's the price of cooking oil <laughs> a cooking oil so i mean and petroleum petroleum i can speak to cooking oil i you i don't cook. i i don't cook often i mean i cook but <laughs> i don't go to the market to buy stuff yeah i if you know me and you've been watching my channel you know that i go around it's, um eating cook food already or cooking with mothers who have already bought their ingredients so yeah. I cannot really speak to the price of um, ingredients but then petroleum um, price have increased and I feel like it's not just Ghana it's worldwide it's problem everywhere. Yeah. yeah so um, that side it has increased yes but I don't think it's because of the year of return or no, the diaspora returning I think the you, COVID hit has really COVID hitting and then the Ukraine, Ukraine and Russia war as well yeah. yeah. So, do many Ghanaians move outside Africa? Um, yes and no. Yeah. Ghanaians, we, we, we really love our country. Mm-hmm. We love our country 100%. Mm-hmm. And 100% to the point where we, we don't mind moving out, right? Uh-huh. But a Ghanaian will move out and stay there for maybe two, three years and go back home. Mm-hmm. He goes out, find a job do one or two and go back yeah. with an investment and go and start something he doesn't live his whole life he or she doesn't live his life outside throughout mm-hmm. so yes you find Ghanaians going out abroad to go to school maybe mm-hmm. f- to, for further studies and then they come back home to come and work oh. yeah so is there no enough qualified school in Ghana there are a lot of qualified schools we have University of why, Ghana why do you think people will choose to go out study outside instead of studying in Ghana so you know we live in a world of global village now where yeah. technology is high you want to see what's happening out yeah. there yeah. that you can also do to improve your economy mm-hmm. and so having a master's degree mm-hmm. and PhD from the same country same institution it's good 
However, diversity helps uh, spice. Yeah, it makes you grow. It's spicing your CV a lot, mm -hmm. and it also um, give you an opportunity to be abreast with what is happening out there. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we going out is to have a taste of what is happening there. Because if the education system is bad, I don't think you even want to attend high school or do your first degree in Ghana. Yeah. yeah. And secondly, if it was bad, I don't think the outside school will even accept you with your grades. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you've been to Kenya how long right now? This is my second week in Kenya. Second week? Yes. So you know a bit about Kenya. So I know a bit about Nairobi. And Nairobi, yes. yeah. yeah. So what, what's your first impression of Nairobi? I, I, okay, before you came here, what, yeah. was, what did you hear about Kenya, Nairobi? So, I heard that there was a little bit of hardship when it comes to freedom of press. Like, you guys are not allowed to film yeah, like, and you are not allowed to... That's true. Creative, creatives mm -hmm. are not given the opportunity. Yes. Um, <laughs> I was also... From what I saw, saw on yeah. the internet, I didn't know that Nairobi would be this beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, they, didn't, they didn't also tell me that you guys have beautiful women here. No. Yeah, and I think like it's all of Africa. Ah, uh, and that your men are very like hardworking. I yes, I wasn't told they are that. Very very hardworking. And so I, to conclude that I feel like my impression about Nairobi before mm -hmm. I came here, or my expectation was, I was just gonna come and see wildlife. Don't blame me. Blame what is on the internet. <laughs> yes, because. You guys. But now we have like so many YouTubers showcasing exactly. Africa the way ne nobody has ever showcased Africa. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So coming here to come and see this beautiful city, I feel like I should move here. The yeah. weather is beautiful. It's huge. You guys have a lot of good things within the economy, especially within Nairobi. What about the infrastructure? Amazing. Look at this. Look at the number of skyscrapers around. I wish I was allowed to fly a drone yet. I w the, the world would have been seeing Nairobi from that point yeah. of view. Maybe you can take a license. You have to take a license for that. Yes, but I'm here for a while. It's not going to be that long. I mean, I don't mind. I will. Or this you can hire someone because I, I know people who do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, guys, then you'll be seeing Nairobi <laughs> city from a drone um, point very soon on my channel. Yeah. But I've come to enjoy the city. I feel like it's very beautiful and it's the people beautiful. you guys are really amazing. So where are you going to apart from Nairobi? I Kenya? I'm going to visit every corner of Kenya. That's what I think. And that's what I'm trying to make possible. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at from Mombasa to Dianin to Lamo to uh there's another place, Mal Malindi? Yeah. Is it Madindi or Mal Malindi? Malindi. Yes. Yeah, I need to go and swim with the dolphins Kenya's and those so places. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm also going to Kericho, Amboseli, um, Masamara, mm -hmm. and then... Uh, so you're going to be here for three months? I'm going to be here for... I, I booked my ticket for one month, but I think I'll extend it to two months. Mm -hmm. And then give the world the best of Kenya. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's all. Do you want to promote yourself? Um... I mean, Kenyans. Why should people subscribe to our channel? Why should you subscribe to my channel? <laughs> yes. Why shouldn't you subscribe to my channel, guys? We're going to ten thousand subscribers, guys. So go and subscribe. Ah, I'm sure by the end by by the end of today, I should be hitting the first ten yes. k. Um, but why should you come to my channel? I'm a storyteller. I travel around the continent mm -hmm. to tell people's story, to tell the beautiful stories of the country and the continent. And so, if you come to my channel, you should come with positive energy first of all. Because uh, I'm there to inspire and yes. to attract um, positive. positive energy. energy. And when you come there, you have to DJ. <laughs> you know, I'm the energy guy. But like, come to my channel so that you have a greater view of this, the continent. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I think that's all. Oh, wow. thank you so much. Do you have anything to add? Yes, I have something to add. <laughs> Guys, please subscribe to her channel, continue to support her. Whenever she drops a video, share um <laughs> click that thumbs up <laughs> button and then um support her growth it yeah. doesn't cost anything to subscribe and share videos yeah, and um she wants to see africa progress she wants yeah. to see the continent I and the country travel the continent uh -huh. also. Yes. so support her journey by sharing her videos and she will go far 
Yeah. But it has been amazing having me. I appreciate this opportunity of being on your channel and speaking to your subscribers. Thank you for creating time. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. I'll link his channel on the description box. Bye. <laughs> bye. bye. So my name is Fred and uh, I'm happy to be in this beautiful city of Nairobi yeah. and meeting another so where amazing creature. So are you from? Creator. I'm from Ghana. <laughs> and, uh, Fantastic. Alright. Welcome to Nairobi. Welcome to Ghana. <laughs> what, do you, what, what, what do you love about my city? <laughs> By the matatu. The matatu. The have brand have, you, ever, have you ever tried matatu before? Yes. Yeah. That's my main form of Oh, okay. Transportation. That's nice. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so seriously it's perfect and he's behind the camera right now and now what to give you <laughs> <laughs> Ghana is one of the slavery oh, sorry. Maybe we'll, I'll answer that question again. Let's okay. let's okay. not su suffer, please. <laughs> oh I really hope it's 